What does it mean when someone preemptively blocks you? Because I was in the middle of calling out this creator in her comments and then poof, she was gone. So let me show you why I had some questions for her. I'm a recovering Karen. I, I really empathize with them because I know what they're going through. And what happens is like things build up over time. And when we suppress our emotions, when we don't know how to effectively release and regulate our emotions, we react. So the biggest problem I had with Self Liberator is that she says that she has a degree in psychology, but couldn't recognize that she was really painting mentally ill people with a broad brush. She suggests that Karens who yell racist things might have anxiety or depression. Now, obviously every person and every person with mental illness is different, but I have yet to come across a person whose depression made them yell racist things. Self Liberator believes that all Karens are mentally ill and while I disagree with that. I'm willing to concede that maybe a particularly bad bout of anxiety or depression could make someone yell at people. But there is no mental illness that lists racism as a symptom. Mental illness and hateful language are two totally different things. They may exist within the same person, but there's not a correlation there. And I really do think that giving racist Karens the excuse that they are mentally ill is not only doing a disservice to people who actually have mental illness, but it also really doesn't help the anti-racist movement. In her comments, Self Liberator says that we need to offer these people compassion and talks about how she has a black friend who goes to KKK rallies and talks to members and that he's like apparently convinced a bunch of them that he's like a real human. But if that's a true story, that means that the Karen's racism is not related to mental illness. If mental illness worked like that, all you'd have to say to cure a depressed person is, don't be sad, flowers are pretty. Someone for whom racism is part of their mental mental illness would not be able to just change their mind like that. Self Liberator talks about her past as a Karen and says that I, I was just miserable. I had a lot of things going on. These aren't bad people. These are people who have a lot of emotional trauma, have a lot of things going on in their life. And this is another excuse that we hear in the comments of Karen videos. She's going through a lot. Well, his wife left him two years ago and it's been really hard on him, etc, etc. I'm willing to believe that a lot of Karens are going through something, but you know what? so is everybody else. We all have hard things in our lives. Most of us have gone through some kind of trauma, but 99% of us don't go around yelling at customer service workers because we're dealing with those things. This was an especially ridiculous excuse when there were a lot of Karens being racist during quarantine. Like we all had a lot going on at the beginning of COVID. A lot of us were going through mental health issues, but we still managed to not scream at customer service workers who were probably more stressed than we were because they were putting their lives on the line to sell band-aids at Walgreens. Self Liberator also claims to be an emotional intelligence specialist. Before this creator blocked me, I was going to tag her in this video and politely tiptoe around my thoughts, but since she blocked me, let's do it. I don't think that's a real thing. Oh, you can get certified in it, but you can get certified in a lot of things that aren't like real things. I asked my therapist about it. She had never heard of that kind of specialty, but whether or not that's a real thing, this creator does have a degree in psychology. So that's why her response to this comment of mine surprised me. She says that while I may have never blown up at a customer service worker, not everyone has the restraint that I do. But if she has a psychology degree, she should understand that it's not restraint that keeps me from yelling at customer service people. I'm not holding myself back. I just do not have the inclination to do it. And I highly doubt that I'm the only person in the world with a mental illness who isn't barely keeping a lid on their rage at all times. Self Liberator seems to think that if you have a mental illness and you get upset about something, you have to like hold yourself back from being a Karen. But that's not my experience with mental illness and it's not something I've observed in the people around me who have mental illness diagnoses. I don't yell at people because I don't want to yell at people. It's not a question of can I contain my rage, it's that the rage isn't there. And again, I doubt that I'm alone in that. And there are some mental illnesses that do have emotional blowups in their symptom list, such as intermittent explosive disorder, but the creator only ever mentions anxiety and depression. Self Liberator says that if we want people to stop being Karens, it's going to take all of us coming from a place of understanding. If someone did not show me compassion, I'd probably still be doing all the things that I was doing before. When people met me with the same hate and frustration and resistance that I was projecting out into the world, then I came back even stronger. When it happens, we have a choice to make. Do we want to see change? We all have responsibility. 
I disagree with this so much. Remember her friend that she mentioned, the black man who apparently talks KKK members out of racism? I totally respect the work that he's doing, but sometimes when people try to do the same thing, they end up getting murdered. It's not the responsibility of people of color or customer service workers to put themselves in harm's way to explain why someone's behavior is bad. And I think it's ridiculous to expect a customer service employee who's just been called a stupid bitch by a Karen to then hold the Karen's hand and explain why yelling hurts people's feelings. Not to mention, when customers have made me cry, I'm not really in the mindset to do a counseling session with them. If you want someone to help you figure out why you're having outbursts and to teach you how to control them, go to therapy. Your anger problems don't need to be solved by someone you just victimized. Self Liberator then offers up an anecdote about the time that she blew up at her former boyfriend over something small, but really what was behind it was like a long list of issues that she had with him. She said that sometimes a little unexpected thing can be the final straw after a long time of pushing down feelings. And that's true, but yelling at your partner is a little different than yelling at a stranger. And it makes me sad because it seems like the creator was in a pretty abusive relationship and she really blames herself for it. But yelling at your boyfriend who hits you when he's drunk is quite different than screaming at a barista. You and that barista don't have history. The final straw may have been the barista getting your order wrong, but the buildup that led to that blow up had nothing to do with the barista. And not only is it not the barista's job to counsel you after you've abused them, but that barista now has to go do their actual job while getting over the fact that they were just verbally assaulted. They've still got 10 drinks to make. The world does not stop just because you need to be talked through your feelings. I want to close out with an anecdote. A few weeks ago, a client of ours had us come in to take care of her cat because she just lost her son and the funeral was that weekend. When she got home, she decided to take her grief out on me. She emailed my boss saying that I had neglected her cat, she couldn't trust us, and she was very hurt by our company, and she never wanted to work with us again. I had not neglected her cat. She was just grieving and needed somewhere to put her emotions. No parent should have to bury their child, but just because you are grieving does not mean that you can put someone's job in jeopardy by making false accusations. And because I heard of her email to my boss on a Sunday night, I spent hours spiraling over what was going to happen when I lost my job the next day. I also wondered, had I neglected the cat and I didn't realize it? Luckily, I've never had any issues at work. My manager backed me up and my boss believed me. But what if my boss had had a customer is always right mindset and fired me just to placate her? I would have been jobless, not because of anything I did, but because someone had some big feelings. That is not acceptable and never will be.